This is my main control station. Everything happens in here, from creating content ideas, to editing, making music, and watching lots and lots of YouTube tutorials. You know what I'm talking about. Over the last year, I've posted hundreds of videos on social media, spending money on cheap tripods, finding the right angles, the right lighting, and making use of my studio, which is, for lack of a better word, small. So in this video, I'm gonna show you what I use in my tiny but effective content creation home studio. Wow, that was a long title. So let's get straight into it. My all-in-one content creation tripod. Right now, my camera is mounted on this. Now I've been through a bunch of cheaper Amazon tripods and they were either too fiddly or broke after a few months. And I found myself having a tripod for lights, my phone, another light. I basically just ended up collecting tripods. So I opted for this bad boy. Big up Think Media for giving me the idea. Now this is originally a really strong light stand, but by adding some accessories like these super clamps, you can hold your phone, your camera, and a light, making it into an all-in-one filming rig on wheels. So you can just move it around like this in any part of your room. And this has actually helped me save so much room in my home studio. Rather than having a few tripods to set up every time, now I can just have this all-in-one tripod. I can basically just keep the stand where it is and every time I want to record, just press record and go. I keep talking about lighting, so this brings me to the next part, the lighting. Now the lighting can change the whole mood and raise the quality of your videos. And instead of hoping for natural light to come in to record these videos, it made more sense for me to have a more controlled lighting setup. After researching a bunch of lights, I ended up going for this 60 watt Amaran light and the Amaran mini dome diffuser, which can direct the light right on me. The light is attached to this boom stand on my all-in-one tripod, so I can have fun positioning the light when I'm filming different types of content. Other lights that I do have are these newer LED lights they're really simple this one is just used to kind of light up the side of my face and sometimes I use it to light up you know just parts of the room like my my speaker right here I also have the same LED right behind me to just fill out that space behind me to add more depth I've got these affordable LED strips that I found on Amazon as well and I also have my wife's Himalayan salt lamp that lives in the corner just to give that warm ambience and if you have all of these lights and you want your videos to look a little bit more cinematic add some smoke yeah, we love some haze. I bought this really affordable smoke machine and it makes the lights a little bit more softer, which result in a more cinematic look. Now, I'm not gonna go into the science of lighting. There's a bunch of tutorials like this one that give a really good explanation of how to light up your room and even small spaces like this. But lighting really does help when filming on your phone or camera, which brings me to the next part, what I film on. Now, when I started creating content last year, I actually just used my phone. Everything was filmed on this, my Samsung S23 Ultra. Which don't get me wrong, the camera and the videos are awesome. But I found that they were just a bit too clean. And filming content every day does get a little bit taxing on your phone. So I decided to invest in an entry level camera, the Sony ZV-E10. So let's switch to the phone camera. So now we're using the Samsung S23 Ultra camera, which is really good, really awesome. It's very clean and it does the job. And right now I'm making use of the portrait mode. So you're getting that nice blurry background, but this is what I've actually been filming on for the last few YouTube videos. This is the Sony ZV-E10 and it's a really affordable and good entry level camera. There's something different about the colors and using different lenses. You just tend to get a bit more creative. Now I can experiment with creative B-roll like this. And it's just made me get into filming stuff that looks a bit more cinematic and has a more creative edge. This camera was actually aimed for content creators. So you have the flip out screen. So, you, you know, I can see myself while I'm recording and filming. Everything is stored onto the SD card so I can easily transfer it to my MacBook. Super simple and fast transfers ready for editing. But let's switch back to this camera and get back to the video. So this brings us to another important piece to the content creation puzzle, 
the audio. Having good sound is really important, especially for these type of videos, and it's pretty easy to get there. Right now I'm using these wireless Hollyland Lark Mark 1 microphones. These are wireless, obviously, and they can plug into any device. You can plug them into your phone. Right now mine are plugged into my camera. Some people would use a microphone like this one, which will be recorded straight into their laptop via a sound card, but that's just another step to add to the editing process. So having these wireless microphones that record straight onto the film is really convenient and makes post-production super quick. And this brings me to probably one of the most important parts of making content. How do I edit my videos? So for years, I was always using Adobe's Premiere Pro, but then I decided to venture out and try and find other editing tools and came across CapCut. And what I love about CapCut is it's on your phone, it's on your iPad, and it's on your desktop, which is what I use it on. CapCut is kind of similar to Adobe Premiere, but for me, it's much easier to use. If you're using a pro version, it has a bunch of AI features that can automatically detect pauses in your video and delete them, which saves so much time. It's got tons of effects like this, and it has really easy color grading. So if you're using a Sony ZV-E10 like mine, it could take your videos from this to this. Ooh, ooh. And the free version is plenty for any type of beginner trying to get into content creation. And you can use it for free, which is nuts. So all of these tools and equipment that I've been talking about have made it easy and efficient for me to just hit record and make content daily. But really, it doesn't really come down to the equipment that you have. I mean, you can just be sitting on front of your phone camera with your room light on. And if what you're talking about is really interesting, that's going to translate to your audience. It usually takes me two days to record and edit a long form video just like this and about one hour to two hours to make a short form video that's around 30 to 60 seconds long. Everything comes with patience so keep experimenting, keep exploring and just have fun. If you're interested in any of the tools that I've been talking about I'll leave a link in the description below. Make sure to follow and subscribe for more videos like this and if you like this video then maybe you'll like this video where I talk about AI websites that will change your life. See you on the next one. Peace!